All Black Everything, Vlogmas Day number eight. Who the fuck said it was too early for alcohol? A loser. What's up, Hufo? This is Jeremy. Rashad is gone. I got the house to myself. Who tried to come over and get drunk with me? Look, I don't know who came with that saying. It's too early in the morning for alcohol. It's too early in the morning for vodka. Too early in the morning for liquor. Oh, look. Y'all, we finna try this right here. This is a tequila set. I'm finna make myself some margaritas and tell some stories by the campfire. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> Gerona, it's finna get in my mouth. Let's see what I'll come in this little set. All right, so you got the, this is a nice little bottle of sauce and liquor. You got your tequila. I got this from Total Wines and More. The little set was $11. They said it was $111, but they had a mark down. I can't believe it was this cheap. And it came with two margarita glasses. These real glasses. Ooh, these real glasses. Ooh. So let me wash this off and we're gonna make some drinks and we finna top. So I'm gonna use some of this right here. Some daiquiri mix. Can y'all see it good? I'm gonna make some daiquiris. And I'm not really good at making frozen daiquiris, so I'm gonna follow the instructions on the bottle. Oh no, you supposed to did. <laughs> oh no, you supposed to did it this way, Jeremy. <laughs> so fucking annoying. All right, so I'm gonna make Y'all ought to make this whole picture for it, but I ain't gonna make that much. I ain't gonna make that much. Rashad can make it even good. All right, so to make drinks, directions, I don't know where my glass is at. They don't give me no direction for one drop. They give me a direction for the whole thing. Well, damn it, let's make it my way then. Let me make it how Rashad make it then. So this is a shot glass. I remember using this glass right here for the mirrors to sum out on a video. Ooh, they so hood and get on using shot glasses to match our stuff when clearly on the side of the bottom, y'all see that? Measuring it. This is a measuring cup. I just used for a shot glass. <laughs> All right, let's put in some ice. Then I must do one. <laughs> and one for the hood. <sighs> Damn, it's not even strong. All right, so let me mix this up. I'm gonna make about. I'm gonna make about three of these. Fuck measuring that shit. We ain't measuring. I measure the shot again. One. Two, three, and one to grow on. Ow! Fuck you! my little pitcher a margarita I ain't made too much but it is a good bit it probably be about three glasses or four glasses so we gonna drink all this up and talk <laughs> vlog look for your ass good morning it's morning who the hell said you gotta wait <laughs> till night time to drink not me to make my rules I didn't subscribe to that bullshit Yo, hood folks, how y'all doing today on this Vlogmas Day 8, December the 8th, 2095, 2095. 
do know one day 2095 will actually happen, but unfortunately, nobody watching this video gonna be seeing it. <laughs> that sounds terrible to the motherfucker. We are all, most of us were born in the late 1900s. Did you know that? Let's go and get the drink going. I don't like no, um, hey. I don't like salt and um, sugar around my glass. Every time I always order a margarita at a restaurant, I always tell them no sugar, no salt. I just don't like that sweet. Or, mm -mm. Let's see how I tell you. Oh, this is good, y'all. This is some smooth little liquor. This is a Blanco. Blanco means it's young or uh, agave plants. I did look that up. <laughs> so Blanco. Mm. Anyway, so hood folk, it is a hot day in Texas. Y'all, I don't complain about the weather. I try my best to not complain about the weather. I don't complain when time go back or daylight saving time begin to end. I don't complain when it's raining, when it's snowing or nothing. But it's weird looking at a Christmas tree and the little decorations blanking again on back there. But it's hot. I got the door, but I think when I I think I need to get up and turn the damn air conditioner on because it is hot. Woo! So oh, y'all, let me tell y'all about this story. The reason I thought about this story is because today when I went to Walmart to buy this little mix of stuff, I saw this big boy. He was standing in front of the store shaking this bell, the Christmas bell, the jingle bell, you know, the Savage Army bell. I thought they weren't gonna be shaking no bell this year. I said, man, they ain't gonna be shaking no bell this year. But instead, I saw, I was walking up into Walmart. I said, oh, yeah, they ain't shaking that bell. And he spoke to me, what's up, Kim Vogue? Y'all, I said, like, what's up, Kim Vogue? I said, what's up, homie? What's up, man? And I just looked at him and I just had a, a smirk on my face. Not the, not a talk bad about him smirk, but just a smirk on my face. And so when I got in the store, I said, man, I was finna do a little vlogmas in Walmart shopping and stuff. I said, don't know see that boring shit. 2005. I can remember a lot of stuff in my past. Now, my short term memory is terrible. If you tell me you number 88, five minutes later, you said 71, I forget that fast. My short term memory is terrible. But for something that happened a long time ago, and this is how I used to learn in school, I just see something and I can remember something. I can smell a smell and it take me back to 2001 or 1995. I can see something or hear something or somebody say something. So when he told me what's up in vote, it's my friend that used to stay when I lived in Mississippi. That's how he would always greet me. Hey, Jeremy, what's up, Ken folk? And I'm like, what's up, man? So when I saw him the fat ass today, I thought about this. Damn. 2005, I had moved to Mississippi and I was living on my own. Them the good time. Living on my own, them was the good time. Mm -hmm. The freedom, if I wanted to go get a pizza, if I only wanted to be in peace and quiet, it, it, the freedom. So I had met a cat at the damn Fred's. It used to be a store now in the town I lived in called Fred's. They went out of business. Do y'all remember Fred's, the low price leader? Probably was all in the South, but Fred's. And I met old boy, and old boy was like, what's up, homie? It ain't a lot. Back in 2005, compared to the day, I was more into high I dressed in 2005. 2021, I mean, I'm all about being comfortable and cool. 2005, I wanted to have a new outfit on and all this goofy stuff. So, me and him hit it out. We got to talking, you know, we walk around the store just talking. And at first I thought it was weird. I said, man, a dude coming up to me and Fred's. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Mm. and so my mind negative, like, I don't want to get down like that. Cause why would a man approach me? You know, either the big or want to do some things. And I was like, I don't want to do either. I ain't got no money and I ain't, um, mm, mm, mm. so we got to talking and we became cool friends. And he had an apartment that was close to the apartment I had moved to. Not the same company, but apartment close to the apartment I had moved to. And so we just talked a lot and hung out a lot. And he was one of my go-to friends in Mississippi all the time. Every time I wanted to hang out, I called him up and he liked to drink, smoke weed. 2005, I smoked 
so much weed in 2005. 2021, I don't want to smoke no weed at all. But 2005, I was smoking so much weed. And so, we was cool. Now, Black Friday, 2005. His apartment is set up how I want this house set up. Like a bachelor's pad. He had a pool table in the mood. I don't even play pool. He had a pool table. He had games and stuff. Uh, manly looking pictures on the wall. His place was set up like a like a bar, like a inside of a lounge or something. I just I used to love to go to his house because his house was set up like how with this house set up. I just don't want to do the work to make this house look like that. That's to be honest. So we he called me up. He said, "Man, we're going Black Friday shopping in the morning." I said, "Man, I don't want to go no Black Friday shopping. I'm trying to have Thanksgiving dinner. He put some dress in the turkey." He said, man, your fat ass better be ready for the go Black Friday shop. I said, all right, whatever. We get to Walmart and the line long as fuck. I said, man, we finna stay in line. He said, yeah. So his fat ass went and got him a buggy. His fat ass went and got him a buggy leaning on the buggy. I said, look at you leaning on the Lord at your fat ass. And so what I liked about him is we had a friendship that we would roast each other, joke a lot, crack jokes on each other, fat jokes, and it was never nothing off the limits. Nothing. And so... Um, we in the store shopping, doing our thing, and I'm going by putting all this stuff in the buggy that I don't need. A, a Blu-ray player, he wanted a Blu-ray player. We getting, uh, I'm getting curtains, towels, sheet sets, just a whole bunch of stuff just piling this buggy up with shit. He piling his buggy up with stuff, but not as much shit as I'm piling my stuff up with. But in my case, y'all have a bullshit. Yeah. I was just there to be there. I want to see some Black Friday fights. I want to see people bump and wrestle over, over TVs and stuff. And that's what they did. They were wrestling and fighting over that little bullshit. But we were chopping. So we get to the line to check out here in front of me. He said, man, you got enough pay for all that? I said, man, I'm a baller. He said, okay, I want to see this shit. And then I said, man, I'm not finna buy none of this stuff. He said, man, you lying. I said, man, I'm not finna buy none of this shit. I just came in here with you to see a fight. I don't want, I don't need no Blu-ray prayer. I don't watch no damn Blu-ray. And I don't want no damn DVD. I don't want all this stuff. Only thing I did buy was a, a DVD set of, I think it was uh, Two Can Play That Game, that movie, and some DVDs like that. But the only things I bought was stuff like that. I, but my stuff wasn't even a hundred dollars. But he got all his stuff. He went back to his house, unloaded. And he dropped me back. Well, he dropped me off at, well, at home. Then he went back and unloaded his stuff. Then he called me up later on that evening. He said, "Man, we're going down to Sugarloaf, Mississippi. Anybody from Sugarloaf, Mississippi? Shout out to Sugarloaf, Mississippi. We're going down to Sugarloaf, Mississippi. We get down to Sugarloaf. Well, he said we're going to Sugarloaf. We finna fuck some hoes. Now I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, man." It's Friday night. I don't want to go no damn sugar lot business. So we get down to Sugar Lot and we pull up in these folk, these girls parking lot in their house, and they had a little dust in the trailer. I said, look at that little trailer. She then she <laughs> this trailer survived. Oh, hold on, let me fill my drink up. Y'all drink with me? I would have went live and told the story, but y'all would have made the live too long. Damn, this is good. This is enough for to get me through this door, I guess. Anywho, we get down to Sugar Lot. I see the little trailer. I said, shit, this little trailer survived Hurricane Katrina. Shit, that's a strong ass trailer. So we in the car, and he was like, he calling the girls on his little cell phone and telling tell we outside. So he's like, man, these some bad bitches. Now I know that, like I said, he a big boy and he can mack. He will mack the shit out of women. We will be out at the mall, Captain D, wherever. He would flirt with every woman in his sight. And it wasn't a low self-esteem having situation because women would be like, shit, what's up, big boy? And I would be the friend in the side cut just laughing or just chilling like, you know. But <clears throat> we get down, the girls come outside, and y'all, <laughs> I'm thinking we finna meet Vivica Fox and Jada Pickett and, and somebody. Did we meet Baby Kid? Them some little dusty looking hoes. I said, man, them... I said, man, you brought me down to Sugar Lot, Mississippi to meet these little dusty hoes. And if y'all can remember, back, a, back some years ago, we was at Havana's at the club, and this little girl had on this white little dress, and she was dancing, and I was laughing so hard in the background on that video. 
when I saw that girl at that club that night back in like, we were, it was a couple years ago in the video. When I saw that girl in the club dance that night, that would remind me of that girl when I saw her in 2005. I said, God, lead them to the, they was they looked at like they was no more than 13 or 14 years old, but they were grown because one of the girls that was her trailer, you know, so they were grown. They weren't on the age of nothing, but they didn't look like they had been ran through. And it's cool. It's decent. It's, it's November 2005 in Mississippi, so it's cool outside. One of the girls came up the side bare feet, so they they talking to us and we talking to them, and I'm laughing. My homeboy said, Jeremy, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you laughing? I said, man, I'm, I'm all right. I said, it's the weed, man. It's the weed. He said, man, that weed got you tripping. I said, yeah, man, the weed got me tripping. The weed didn't have me tripping. I was sitting there thinking of a million, 11,000, 100, 150, 11,000 jokes about these girls. I was laughing at them girls, cracking jokes to myself, because I do that. I can be sitting somewhere and just smiling and laughing, and people are like, oh my God, you so happy. No, I'm making a joke about your ass in my head. So them girls are like, what's wrong with your friend? Why he so goofy? Why he laughing so much? So I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. So the girl that was supposed to be for me, she was even more dusty and crusty. I mean, oh my God. She had a little ponytail sticking up. You know how them little girls, you know how, you know how them girls from the community got short hair, but they have it in the ponytail and they be a little ponytail, little ponytail like this sticking up. And you know them little girls, they can fight. Them little girls can win me beat your ass up. And that's the one that was supposed to be for me. And they were skinny. I mean, these girls had to weigh about a good 75 pounds. I said, what the fuck you gonna do with these girls, man? Damn. You gonna crush these girls? Bones, man, you fuck these girls, you gonna have them hoes looking like sloppy joes when you get through with them. And so you're like, man, you is goofy, Jerry, you goofy. And so we went inside and we were rolling more weed and I couldn't just stop looking and just laughing. Y'all was just like, my favorite was like this the whole time. Just laughing, but I was pretending like I was extra high, but I wasn't extra high. I was not extra high. I was just laughing, laughing, laughing. Damn, I'm hot. And so the girl was like, oh, What's wrong with your friend? All he do is laugh. All he do is laugh, laugh, laugh. <laughs> Damn, I wish I could, I wish I was able to vlog this live in 2005. Y'all be laughing too. So he said, man, let me holler at you outside. Come on, holler at you. He was like, man, what's wrong with you, man? They, they finna fuck. They trying to fuck, man. They, you see how they, this side of bitch sitting in my lap? I said, man, they dusty, man. They crusty and they dusty, man. He said, man, pussy don't got no faith. That pussy good. I bet that pussy juice and shit. Man, I already felt that pussy is already wet. Let me go on the fuck, man. Let go on the fuck. You go in the other room. I go in the other room, man. We some big boy. You know, big boy. We, you know, they, we get a bad rep and shit. But when girls give us, when girls give us play, we need to go on and jump on that, man. I'm like, I don't want to do it. And so I was just sat on the porch, just, just, just tripping out. And he went back inside, he stayed a few minutes, he came back out. He said, man, what's up, man? You like you scared of hoes or something? And so I said, man, I'm going to tell you something. He said, what? I said, I'm going to tell you some real secrets about me, but you going to, it probably make you change. He said, change how you feel about me. He said, man, now you can tell me that made me change. You my boy, you my boy, I love you, homie. I said, all right. I said, man, I'm bisexual. He like, what the fuck is that? You would have thought I had told him I had a, uh, uh, a cancer or some kind of illness because it it went in one ear and one out the other ear because he it didn't register to him what bisexual mean. He was like, "What the fuck you mean, man? What the fuck you talking about, you bisexual? What the fuck is that? What the fuck, man? That, 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 what the fuck, man? You can still fuck." I said, "Man, bisexual me. I like girls and do." What? He's like, wait, what? What? So that means you don't want to fuck them, do you want to fuck me? I said, hell no. You know I don't want to fuck your fat ass like a goddamn blanket on me, a wet blanket. And then you don't fuck your fat ass. And we was on the board tripping out. And so we started laughing and roasting the fuck at each other, clowning on the porch. He said, Jerry, but why the fuck you ain't been telling me this? I said, well, man, I, don't, I ain't never want to tell you because I, be, I ain't never been in this kind of predicament. I'm used to you telling me about all the chicks you want. It's not that I was scared to do it because I would have did it. It's just that the girl was too skinny and they were dusty looking. And I ain't trying to act like I'm all that and I'm bougie, but they were too crusty and Hold on. <sighs> Damn, this drink got me feeling good. Anyway, it ain't that they were too, you know, dusty. I mean, it ain't that they was, I was scared of them and them. It's just they looked like they, 
No, it wasn't, the hygiene wasn't the best, I should say. But then plus, when we walked in the house, it smelled like kerosene. I fucking hate the smell of kerosene. It smelled like kerosene and mothball. And that's another thing. It's just my mind went from then to like, I'm at an old person's house, kerosene, mothball. Then I kept thinking that I, I didn't want to do it. So he just said, well, you sit down here on the porch and y'all just chill. I'm finna tear this pussy up. Y'all. <laughs> About 15 minutes later, 15 minutes later, y'all, we heard him in there. Fuck it. I really thought he was in there killing that girl. I thought he was like, that goes in, oh, 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 and then I'm like, oh my God, he had to kill her. I said, should we, I'm telling this girl, should we call the police? And she looking at me. Your fat ain't wanna call the police. We don't do that right there. She was in all the joking I was doing, she was impressed by none of it. She was steady rolling blunts and she was looking at me like, your fat ass should be fucking me, but you a punk ass bitch, but you don't wanna do that. I'm like, you too dusty. That little ponytail get on my dirt, but they was enough. Oh! And then the neck that hurt. Y'all, he was fucking this shit that good. He fucking shit that good. But this is the funny part of the whole night. The fun of the whole night. When you know, oh, I heard something say, boom! Y'all, <laughs> we was like, what the fuck? He didn't get the gun. He didn't shot the gun. Oh my God. He didn't, he didn't say he didn't fuck this gun and shot her. Man, we gonna go to jail. He didn't shot that bitch because I thought it was a good shot. He wasn't a good shot. When he came and got there, he said, Jeremy, that little bed didn't hold up, Jeremy, didn't hold up. Them legs was up in the air, but that bed didn't hold up. And then, <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, that was so funny. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you what's so funny, y'all. <laughs> oh, shit. He said, he said, man, she kept complaining. Cause she kept complaining about the creases of her leg. You know the, the where the you know where the V end of your leg. She said they were open up so wide that they were burning. <laughs> she said, Jeremy, when I fucking that bitch, you heard all them dogs she was making. She was only making them dogs at Jeremy. Because she said, oh, her creases are burning. She said her legs are open way too wide. <laughs> So after they got through fucking, we sat there smoking another blunt with them. And so we got back in the car and that's when we drove back and we laughed about that. I laughed about that so hard. I laughed about that so much. He said that, he said the first man I had pulled my dang out and she had said, that's it? <laughs> that's, all the, that's all the dick you got? And he was like, just suck it. And so she was sucking it, and he would push her head. She was like, you don't got to pull my head. It ain't that much. He said, I'm going to get this bitch. I'm going to get this regular ass bitch. I'm going to get her. And so he said, man, when she was sucking, she was like, you don't got to pull my head because you don't got that much. And so he said, Jeremy, I took that bitch head. I mashed it out of her dick, and my dick would grow out of her mouth. And when she started choking and gagging, he could say, no, nah, I thought it wasn't that much. I said, no, nah, I thought it wasn't that much. Dog, dog, take it all. So she was choking and crying and stuff. So she was crying. I said, man, you break the girl. He said, no, nah, man, ain't too, they ain't, <laughs> they ain't violent that good. I ain't violent that good. But when she saw what it grew to, then she was impressed. Man, we laughed so hard that we got back to my apartment and sat in the parking lot so long. Because he had a, he had a damn, who he had? We got a car that well, he had a big body, like a, it ain't even like a Grand Marquise or Crown Vic, like the old big body one. We said in my car, we said in his car, laughing so hard about all the shit we said, that his car ran out of gas, cause we was sitting, it was cool outside, so we had the heat on. The car ran out of gas, he said, what the fuck? <laughs> the car ran out of gas, it went there, look y'all, when the car ran out of gas, the car stopped, <coughs> 
That's what the car was doing. The car was cold. That's what, man, your car got a cold, bro. You need to get your car some hoes or some robots or something. That be a coffee. That was so funny. That was so funny. Y'all, my fat friend. Wonderful. That's funny. Y'all, I'm telling you. I, I, I really, when I moved to Texas, <clears throat> when I moved to Texas, he, me and him stayed cool. <clears throat> Damn. When I moved to Texas, me and him stayed cool and everything. We still text each other. But when I got with a relationship with Shaw, a lot of people cut me off. A lot of people I was real cool with and talked to, they decided to cut me off when I got with Rashad. Like, oh, no, nah, man, I can't be your friend and stuff. And I hate that. I really do. That's, it's like, it's some people that I miss as friend. And that's probably one of them that I miss as friend. I miss just hanging around him and talking around him. And I, whenever I go back home, I be trying to get over him. But he always busy. Cause I think he married now and stuff, but that that cat, if I ever was to get him on YouTube, the video would definitely be demonetized. Cause y'all think I cuss a lot. Every word is motherfucker big. It's just like every word's bleak, bleak, bleak. And I that's one thing that made me like him a lot. Cause I love the fact how much he cussed. That motherfucker was a dolomite cussing ass dude. And that shit, I used to love it. It used to be so funny. Y'all, mm-hmm. I'm feeling good, my little drink. Ah, I'm feeling good, my little drink. Y'all, I hope y'all enjoying Vlogmas. But it's so many stories. It's so many stories I could tell y'all of stuff I did back in 2005 and six. 2005 and six were some raw years for me. That's why I tell people now. In 2005 and six, I was not in a relationship. <clears throat> I was 23 and 24. And I was out doing my thing. That's why I say you should, if you between the age of 18 and 25 relationship, you should not be in a relationship because I was able to just experience a whole lot of stuff from, like I said, first time trying out weed. The first time I tried out weed, I couldn't stop laughing. I mean, I don't want no weed now at the age I am now, but back in 2005, it was fun. And plus, I don't know how to roll. I can't roll. I just can't roll. And then some people say you should try edibles. I got a weak stomach in a week. My mind think of things just nasty. So thinking about edibles, to me, when they said somebody said I cook some brownies with weed in it, that when I know that you smoke weed, most people smoke weed, eating it just made me sick to the stomach. So I couldn't do no edibles and none of that stuff. I could Oh my god. God, Lee, I wanna I need to call my homie. I wish I can call well I probably could look his number. He on my I think he on my Facebook page. We used to be Facebook friends. Y'all I did a whole lot of stuff in 2005. And once he once we got back once we got back sober like the next day, he talked about my sexuality and he never came at me weird. Like he like, you like that? He's like, man, you wanna you wanna you want dick too, you want dick too, Jeremy. I better let you see this dick. You better fell in love with me. I said, man, I don't want to see no dick from you. I don't wanna see no dick. I don't wanna see it. Ooh. And we we he we went from joking each other about fat, then he started joking me about sex. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, I better put on my outfit. Have Jeremy looking at these legs and be giving me his whole paycheck. I say, shit, I look at your fat ass and want to give you a buffet card, you fat motherfucker. I'm telling you. Oh, shit. The only person got a menu as they wall screen saver. You know you're a fat motherfucker. <laughs> All right, folks. This is the end of Vlogmas Day 8. Y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed that crazy story. Y'all, I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel good. Maybe for sure to do a story time on Vlogmas number nine. I don't know, y'all. I will see y'all tomorrow. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed Vlogmas. I feel good. Y'all, look at my little drink. Oh, I'm going to go. Now, man, I don't want this wine glasses. But this one, this is look at is actually. If you see this in the store and you like tequila, I ain't never heard of this brand, but shit, give it a try. I'll let y'all know in future videos if they give me a bad hangover, but this ain't that bad, though. It ain't that strong. It's all Blanco, you know, and give it a try, shit. I wish I would've got, like, all of them, out, you know, all of them. And I got me a little Margaret Martini, Mar shit, whatever. Bossa, you want you a drink, too? Shit. <laughs> 
I see y'all tomorrow, Hoofo. Let me get a thumbnail shit. Let me see. <clears throat> I don't even know what the name of take this video. Mm -hmm. I love an old bike. I post, oh, that'll be the next video. I love an old bike. I love to see people who talk with an old bike. What's up? What you doing? See you. See, I'm finna go ahead and edit this video out. Man, you wanna come and watch the movie with me? See, I'm chilling in this motherfucker. I love, an old bike is such a turn on. It's such a turn on. Not a thick tongue. Not if you got a thick tongue. Now get that thick tongue out of here. I'm talking old bike. What's up? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out, folks. Peace. <laughs> 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 you fat motherfucker, damn.